Your next comment, come to the stage. Put your hands together. Oh, look, everybody got quiet and anal retentive here. Uh, it's a joke, fuckers. Put your hands together for the amazing Chris Conrad. Yeah! Hey, Ricky. All right, thank you, Ricky. Everybody? So is anybody here on Facebook? The internet site Facebook, right? Yeah, I'm on Facebook. And I often wonder why. Because it's depressing to me, at least in my case. I don't know, Facebook constantly makes me feel unloved, or more appropriately, unliked. No, my average Facebook post gets like zero to five likes, okay? Five on a good day, zero on a bad day. Zero, man. That's demoralizing. You can't get one person to like your post. And I've got 32 friends on Facebook, and I'm not trying to brag or act like a big shot. I'm just stating a fact. Um, I just, no, you know, occasionally I'll have that zero likes, and what I do in that case is I'll go back a little bit later, in like an hour, I'll check on it, and if it's still zero, I'll delete it real quick, you know what I mean? I'm like, delete! Get the fuck out of here, you unlikable fucking post. Like, what was I thinking when I posted that shit? Man, I hope nobody saw it, I hope I got it out of there in time, that's just embarrassing. Um, and I'm not one of these douchebags that posts every random thought and feeling, like I post two, three posts a week. Here's an example, I recently posted a photograph of my cat dressed like Yoda. Okay? Right? Yeah, yeah, it got two likes. That's how many likes it got. Two measly fucking likes. Um, and I was like, I was baffled because I'm like, if you like cats, you're going to like the photo. If you like Star Wars, if you like Yoda, if you like cats dressed like Yoda. I mean, it works on so many levels. But I guess I overestimated its appeal. Uh, and first of all, Facebook friends, you, you think it was easy getting my cat into a Yoda costume? Because it wasn't. You think it was easy to get him to sit still and and pose and look like a cool, calm, collected Jedi Master and not like some enraged feline trying to furiously rip a Yoda costume off his body with his teeth? Not easy. Cats do not like wearing costumes, people. That's just a fact. So I never liked the musical Cats. It's got no fucking basis what in reality. What am I asking you to do, <laughs> really? Am I asking you to help me move or bake a cheese souffle? No, I'm asking you to push your fucking button. Just touch a touch screen. That's it, man. That's all. But anyway. Uh, no, I recently I posted a photograph of, a few months back of, uh, it was a link to the YouTube video of the song As by Stevie Wonder. It's like my favorite song of all time. And it got zero likes. And I'm like, fuck you, everyone I know and love on Facebook. I mean, and, and you're not dissing me, you're dissing Stevie Wonder. And that's fucked up, because the man is blind and he's like a musical genius, you know? And you all know the song, right? It's like, just as hate knows love's a kill, you can bet your heart for sure. I'll be loving you always. And I apologize, I'm, I'm a horrible singer. Uh, I used to get drunk and do that at karaoke all the time. That's an eight minute song I used to subject people to. That's just fucked up. Um, yeah, I, was, I had a bad karaoke problem. I was out of control. Anybody get into it every night? No, I finally, I, I took a long, hard look in the mirror and I'm like, yo, you narcissistic asshole. I do not get sick and tired of standing in front of a bunch of drunk strangers you know, in various bars throughout the city, yelling into a microphone, begging everyone to pay attention to you. So I, I quit doing that. I stopped doing karaoke. I don't do it anymore. Um, uh, anyhow, um, yeah, so I've got some pride. Not a lot, though, ever since joining Tinder. Anyone here got the app Tinder? Anybody on Tinder? Tinder's depressing, too, because Tinder hooks you up with women and, you know, singles in your geographical area and also women in your age group. Um, and it got me to realize that women in my age group are really fucking old, you know? Um, I mean, I'm 43 years old, but I'm in denial about it. Uh, I like dating women in their 20s, but it's, it's really not so reciprocal. I mean, a girl in her 20s will date a guy in his 40s, just not usually one who makes less money than she does. It's like, it defeats the purpose. Thus, I'm on Tinder. No, like, they got these girls popping up like Susan, 47. I'm like, 47? Christ, you'd be my fucking grandmother. That's just creepy, man. Um, and ladies out there, I will give you some advice if you're on Tinder about your, your profile photographs. Um, men, we're stupid. Everybody knows it's a fact. We're stupid, but we're not that stupid. And when you got, like, six photos of yourself and they're all a close-up of your face, we're going to do the math and figure out you're probably a little overweight. And that's okay. There's, you know, people are into that, but it's just, you know, you're not fooling anyone. There was this one girl on there... We'll call her Jill. And Jill, she had six photos, and it was five close-ups of her face, and then one of her from really far away, standing in front of a mountain. Fucking mountain. I mean, that's a hell of scale, right? Like, Jill looks a little big, but nowhere near as big as that fucking mountain she's in front of, you know? I mean, nothing as slimming as a mountain, ladies. You know, it's like she's standing in front of a flamingo, or a stripper pole, or hanging out with her friend Olive Oil from Popeye's a mountain. So, very crafty. That was crafty. Um, but when I'm not dressing my cat up like Yoda, or messing around on Tinder, I like to play Candy Crush Saga. Are there any Candy Crush Saga fans in the house, though? Nobody? It's a popular game. No, but that's a fun game, because, you know, it also it's a Facebook-related. It connects you with your friends on Facebook, and you can chart your progress, and if you're way ahead of them, you can trash talk and, and bust their balls. 
The other day I called up my friend Tony. I'm like, hey, Tony, uh, I noticed when I started Candy Crush Saga, you were on the 50th level, and, and now I'm on 300, and you're on like 52. Well, what's up with that? Uh, well, Chris, you know, I got four kids. I just bought a house I'm trying to rehab. I got two jobs. I'm a little busy. Yeah, or maybe you just suck at Candy Crush Saga. <laughs> um, you know, it's funny, everything about that game is addictive, though. You got colorful candy and the sound effects, and, and it's just it's an addictive game. And the guy's voice, again, nobody's played it, so this is probably going to fly. But the guy's got, it's, it's, it's got this, like, delicious. He's like that ten times sexier than Barry White. Like, I'm a straight guy, but this guy's got a sexy fucking voice. <laughs> no, it's like, growing up, we all had that friend slash bully who, who was very homophobic and called everybody a fag. Fucking fag! And now that I'm older, I look back, I figure he probably was like in the closet and, and angry about it. But he'd always be like, hey, Conrad, if, if some guy held a gun to your head, it was going to kill you if you didn't fuck a male celebrity. What male celebrity would you fuck? And I'm like, I'd die, man. I'm, no, come on. Okay, what if he picked up a baby, held a gun to the baby, I'm going to kill the baby, then I'm going to kill you. Oh, well, who would you fuck, Chris? I, I don't know, Mel Gibson? No, I knew it, you're a fan! You said you were going to kill a fucking baby, man. But real quick, my man, I finally have an answer for this guy. The celebrity that I would fuck, the male celebrity, would be the guy who does the voice for Candy Crush Saga. Seriously, I'd fuck him in the dark and be like, heavenly. Like, it's really not so bad. Anyway, it's my time, everybody. Thanks a lot. Have a, have a good night. Thanks for coming out. It's a great crowd. A lot of you. Sorry, Ricky and Megan. Chris Conrad, everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah.